Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. Uh, so today I'm having a new cigar that I have not had before. And <laughs> that was the price. And you may be able to guess what it is. It's an Asylum 13. I, I found one. I, I think I heard about it uh, on the uh, during the live stream. So and if you notice that I'm on my couch because it's I'm kind of lazy and I want to put my feet up. <laughs> I don't want to sit in my chair right now. Um, so I heard about it and so I found it at a cigar shop, a new cigar shop that I went to, and the cigar shop that I went to is probably has the biggest selection of cigars that I've ever seen any cigar store have. So I decided for kicks I'd pick this up. It's a I do believe it's an 80 gauge, because um, it's definitely not the 60 gauge, and I do believe it's 6 inches, so it is a the Asylum 80, which means I'm going to need my punch, because it does not fit in my cutter. Oh my god, I can't believe I'm going to smoke this thing. Be careful not to crack it. Nuts. Okay, I see burn problems. I foresee burn problems in my future. Oh my god. This is going to take a while to test. But yeah, it had a lot of things, and I also found a couple Avo Classics. They weren't in the pyramid, uh, which is uh, my preferred shape for them. But it's the I am looking forward to to trying them uh, again because I do love the Avo Classics. They're one of my favorite cigars, so I'm definitely gonna um, light those up soon. I want to make sure I get this thing completely going, though. God. Okay. <laughs> uh -huh. What do I use? Well, my preferred size is a 38, and I'm smoking an 80. <laughs> it's got a good spice kick to it, though. Just a little bit. It's kind of just tingling the tips of my my tick of my tip of tip of my tongue. So how are you guys doing? Um, it's been a while. I just started school um, back in all my classes. Um, and so far it's going good. Uh, like my professors, I've already done my first homework assignment, which uh, was pretty easy. 
uh, so I hope it's right. <laughs> um, but we'll see. Get over this. How big this is. What possesses somebody to to smoke this? <laughs> smoke a cigar this big. Um and I'm looking at uh doing um, I'm working, I got a new schedule at Sports Story, I'm working there more, I'm working still at the gas station, so, I'm getting kind of just, this week's just been getting settled into to school and everything, so, uh, right now I'm just, it's been a busy week, so, I'm kind of just relaxing now, I got most of the apartment cleaned up, so, um, gonna film some more, can't wait to do that, especially, uh, for Tennis Obsessed, I'm really looking forward to, to doing that. I'm just staring at this thing. I just <laughs> that side doesn't even look like it's burning. Just got just got together with my coach and my friend. We just had a couple scars too. We had a uh, we had a couple of new worlds uh, in natural, which were pretty good. Love those cigars. But other than that, nothing's really been happening lately. I've just been plugging away with school and uh, haven't really been doing much come to think of it uh, thinking about doing some car shopping uh, looking at getting another another car just because um, the car that I have is great for commuting but it's not so great if you want to do anything else with it um, like go on any vacation or go on any trips like we carpooled up to um, Sunday River, where we went on a trip and we all crammed into my little car. <laughs> None of us were happy. <laughs> I mean, it was a fun trip, but we were all kind of sore afterwards. <laughs> Looking at something, getting something with a little bit more room, um, or trying to. Uh, so that's what I've been kind of focused on in the last few days. Um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, but, yeah. So that's really all I've been up to lately. Um, haven't really smoked any cigars lately this week. I've only smoked that one earlier tonight and this one. So, But the cigar shop that I went to was amazing. It had ton of selection of padrones They're not just the you know run the mill of the thousand series but even the the family reserve the the uh, 80th anniversary uh, the the 80th anniversary the everything they had um yeah they had a lot so i was really might be picking some of those up soon um And uh, I'm still kind of cracking up with this cigar. But it looks like the pepper went away. 
with a very slight hint of pepper went away because there's none on the retro hail. So it's kind of interesting. It's kind of like a Yeah, it's it's pretty good. So now I'm gonna go on to reading some comments. Uh, from Uh, my birthday vlog. Uh, so uh, Rory said, uh, "Hey Wyatt, I actually uh, saw this one last night just before I logged off, and would have commented, but I couldn't do it, man. Sorry. So I wanted to do to come back and watch it again, and will leave my thoughts today, as I always pick up on. I always pick up things that I missed in the first viewing, even though I did make." That ridiculously silly birthday video for you. I'll say it here. Happy 21st. It wasn't silly. I really appreciated it. Um, I've never been one to, to want a lot of fuss made over on my birthday, but some people just won't let, let it go. I have friends who always want to take me out for dinner every year. My mom and sister insist on throwing me a damn party with grandma bringing the balloons. Emphasis on loons. <laughs> Everybody's got them in their family. Trust me, i got plenty in mine. And no clowns needed. We already have enough of them in the family, too. <laughs> Same here. Um, I quite see why some people aren't comfortable around family. <laughs> um, I'm definitely the black sheep in my family. So uh, I live in a, my family is very uh, religious uh, on, uh, no, my, not my parents, but... Uh, uh, but on my father's side, they're all usually very religious, so I get to show up with the big 666 tattoo and the, the pentagram and, and all black. And <laughs> I walk in looking like Satan and <laughs> kind of makes people do a double take. I'm trying to find some trick to this cigar because the reason I'm double puffing it a little bit is just it, it, uh, I'm trying to draw more air forcefully through it just to make sure that cherry heats up all the way um, to burn so that way I don't get an uneven burn. And hopefully prevent any burn issues. Anyway, here's hoping your 21st is filled with fun and good times. It did. It was. Um, and I'm sorry to hear that Shelly won't be joining you on the trip, but I'm sure sitting around a lodge while you you're up on the slopes wouldn't be very fun. Um, uh, but on the plus side, you can come around. Be around your place, taking care of things. At least you'll come home to a, you. You'll have something wonderful to come home to. And I like her laugh now. <laughs> yeah, she was. That made her blush <laughs> when I when she saw that. Because uh, we both read the comment. Uh, like I said, I read this comment a lot. Uh, basically, as they, as they come in, so. Uh, um, yeah, she was very happy with that. Uh, 
Actually, no, I want you to come around to the other side of the camera so we can see how adorable she is. Um, but yep, you got to meet her on the live stream, so uh, that was fun. Though she did have to clock out early because uh, she was really tired. She has to be up at 4.30 every morning to go to work, so it's that's kind of tough. <laughs> Yep, it's notching right down, right there. I mean, this could be, I don't want to knock the cigar because right now, uh, just because I did pick it up at a local store, which I don't know the conditions they kept it at, but. Can't believe I'm smoking this. <laughs> I mean, it's actually not bad in terms of flavors. I do enjoy. I'm actually enjoying the flavors out of this cigar. So, you know, it's definitely not a gimmick cigar, and it's definitely it's a legitimate cigar. It's got good flavors um, coming out of it, but can't get over the size of it. Must be nice to have a job where you can pretty much set your own schedule and come and go when you want. Um, yeah, that's it's a dream. It's it's I mean it it definitely doesn't. I mean the pay is decent for somebody my age, uh, and so I mean it, it's a pretty good setup. I mean it's it's I'm very lucky to have found the job that I have because. But, trust me, it, it's it. I would not last long behind a cash register if I had to work retail at a cash register. One more about that tube on the bike. I would have reacted a little bit more enraged after the hassle of having to build a damn thing. Um, yeah, I was pissed. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing that the customers um, don't go back behind the tech shop because <laughs> um, there was a lot of cursing going on right then and there. Thank you for showing us what the finished product looked like. Yeah, the thing was about 40 to 50 years old <laughs> that I worked on. I, uh, it was brutal. Uh, old bike, very old bike. Um, but hopefully the person who's riding it enjoys it. So, well, I have. Well, I have to trust you your own good judgment when it comes to these stunts you do, but they still scare me watching you. Eating the world's hottest pepper is one thing, being set on fire. That's a whole new level of risk. But as me and the others have been trying to tell you, or maybe you don't think so, uh, you don't matter, kinda. But you do, and that's why we express both our concern for your safety and our care for you. Uh, but no matter, no matter what, I will still respect you because you are no sex object and there's no BS. Um, yeah, that that's um, actually I was actually really concerned about the eating the world's hottest pepper because it's more the danger you know versus you know, um, in that regard um, because well being set on fire is is one thing Do, doing the small scale testing and doing the um, consulting with um, a safety expert, we were able to, um, even though we didn't have a fire extinguisher, uh, being sprayed in the face with a chemical fire extinguisher may not have been been great, but might have been nice to to have. And in the in hindsight, that was one mistake we did make with the, the stunt. Uh, we're not perfect, um, uh, but doing the small scale testing. And being aware of the dangers and being aware of what we can do to 
if something were to go wrong, knowing what how to react when something goes wrong is very important. Like, we had hand signals, which you'll see, because we did have to use, I mean, it was a stunt that did go wrong to an extent. We did demonstrate the effect that we were looking for, but we it, it did go wrong. Now, uh, uh, towards the end, but um, knowing what to do when it did go wrong was, since we knew that, since we prepared for it, since we were, since there was obvious, like, the, the dangers of being set on fire is very obvious, um, and very, so it's very kind of easy to know how to prepare for it, versus eating the world's hottest pepper, um, the danger was, was that we don't, we didn't know what could go wrong, or we had an idea, or, or I had an idea of what could go wrong, but if something did go wrong, we were much less prepared for that than we 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 were when I did get set on fire. Um, uh, meaning that when I when when you eat something very very hot uh, with a lot of capsaicin in it, especially something that's dry, which was made it even worse. Um, there is a potential for your throat to swell up and your your tongue to swell up and basically swelling to occur and, and swelling to the point where you, you your throat to close up and um you know the the, the obvious thing about being set on fire was uh you know you could you know we knew fire put it out you, you, you know Use a lot of water, put it out, make sure the person's fine, make sure the person can breathe. Uh, if the person doesn't br can't breathe, he's going to give this hand signal, you know, and you're going to react this way. That was, we all coordinated that uh, prior to the stunt. You know, if I gave this hand signal, you're going to do this. If I gave this hand signal, you're going to do that. If, you know, and these are the steps that you're going to do in order when I give this certain signal. And preparing for that made the stunt a whole lot safer than it, it theoretically seems, uh, even when everything went wrong towards the end. You know, towards the end of the video, things went wrong, and even though it seemed we are in a panic, we're really not in a panic. It's more of, we're just, it looks like a panic, but what we're doing is really, we know, we're, we know what we need to do. And, I mean, we know how we need to get it done fast, but we know what we need to do. Now, had my throat closed up when we ate the world's hottest pepper, that might have been a completely different situation. Because, I mean, I was aware of it, but there's not really much you can do when it happens. Um, so, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a different beast. I'd still prefer um, dealing with dangers that you know exist than than dealing and preparing for them. Doing a stunt, even though it's more dangerous, as long as you're prepared for it more, is better than doing a stunt that may be less dangerous, but being ill-prepared for it. Um, so... So, yeah, that's kind of my whole take on it. I mean, definitely don't pass off the world's hottest pepper as, not, as being not that dangerous. People, it, it's... That was actually... Um, especially after eating the first one, I noticed how... Um, I actually noticed it reacting with my throat, so I don't... I actually... 
for a brief period when I coughed, I think you see me cough in the video, that's because I was making sure my throat was uh, was doing okay. <coughs> or in making sure my throat wasn't closing up at all or trying to keep it from closing up if it was going to. Um, as you probably know, when I was CEO and President of Fraternal Order of Cigars and Pipes, that was my goal to help keep uh, help other cigar and pipe smokers connect with others here on YouTube who may not know others in the community. Uh, and that is why most, if not all, my videos were shout out channel pr promos to introduce other members to each other. And I was happy doing it. So making a reconnect with Acid, uh, Alex, Acid Alex, formerly known as Arson Alex, that guy was nice. He has since given up smoking and taken to vaping now, which was fine by me. I do hope he'll start getting back into his channel here at YouTube because people are still slipping to him like you, others, and communicating with him via comments in his video. Um, yeah, I definitely love connecting with you guys out, out here on YouTube. I definitely want to connect with more channels and connect with more people and kind of bring us together as a community, you know, to help each other out when, when others need it. Um, you know, that's kind of why I'm doing this vlog is because I want to, you know, I don't want to be some guy on YouTube that, um, that just makes videos and, um, and that's it. I want to, I want a way where I can engage with you guys and kind of bring you guys into my life more. So that's why I do these vlogs or I try to do them as often as I can. Um. Burn problems. Bryce of Bryce makes him seems to be really cool. Seems to be a really cool young guy, much in, very much into the art of film. He wanted to send me some Christmas cookies, but I told him to send to you instead. I'm assuming that he has yet to contact with you. He has yet to contact you about them. <clears throat> uh, no, and uh, Rory, I will send you my contact information. I just uh, just really have to check my email. I don't really check my email much, uh, not as much as I nearly should. Um, <laughs> Email is probably one of the worst ways to get in contact with me, um, but um, but yeah, I'm definitely uh, looking at that. Uh, I definitely plan on sending you probably out tonight or tomorrow morning. Uh, and I think the cigar brand you tried to pronounce is Tattoo Highway. Uh, tattoo. It's quite popular. And it's a quite popular one at that. The actors, the actor wh whose name in the silent horror film London After Midnight is Cheney, like former <laughs> former shoot my lawyer in the face, Dick Cheney. <laughs> How he ended up doing that, I have no idea. That's kind of my the funniest thing about guns is I find that the that the people who should have them the least are the ones who or who own the most guns. <laughs> yeah, the ones that should own guns the least are the ones who end up owning the most. That's kind of the way I look at it. Um. Once you get your bank account built back up, maybe you can get a supply of your favorite cigars, maybe plus a few new ones to try also. Um, yeah, I'm hoping that, you know, my bank account will recover soon. I mean, I'll be probably buying a new vehicle soon, so um, 
we'll see how that goes uh, because I definitely need a new one and I also miss driving my truck so I'm gonna need to get something along that line I'm looking at like an SUV uh, to pick up so gonna be trying out that it's definitely gonna help if I end up getting need to get parts or stuff for uh, any of my videos so I certainly hope you can keep you to your New Year's resolutions. You have some, you have some someone now who can encourage you on if you want to get those accomplished. As for me, I have no intention of giving up cheeseburgers. Sorry, I already <laughs> have a big belly or beer belly, as many of you refer to, but mine is due to a large spleen, not an not an overindulgence in libations or cheeseburgers. <laughs> um, is is that is that a, like a cause for concern? Are you gonna be um, is, is the enlarged spleen like a medical, like, like a problem, like a, something that's, uh, uh, that poses a danger to you? Like, I just hope you're doing okay with that. And I, and I don't, so how, what I'm doing is I'm giving up, like, fast food, like, as much as I can. Like, I'm definitely not eating as much fast food, as fat. Definitely not e eating as much fast food as I used to. So. I still like to partake in cheeseburgers. Just not as greasy or <laughs> as fatty as fast food cheeseburgers. But my love of cheeseburgers will never die. Um, <laughs> Jesus killing Christ, look at how long this is. Sorry about that, man. I'll get on with the question of today's vlog and and what was my favorite movie of 2015. Unfortunately, since I've not been to theaters in years and stopped renting movies, I'm um uh, uh I lost my place. Uh, in cyber movies, I am, I am almost out of the loop when it comes to, to, to what's playing. Um, although the new Star Wars movie, I and just about everybody else is aware of its return. So for me, there is no favorite of 2015, but all time I still have to be the 1939 Frank L. Baum's uh, Wizard of Oz, starring Judy Garland and Margaret Ham Hamilton. Does that really surprise me? Uh, surprise me. No, but <laughs> I had a I had a feeling that that would be one of your favorite movie, or at least in the top three. Um, well, I think it would, this will do for my participation on this one. So until the next one, see ya. What, see ya. Oh, and Wyatt, I love the ending of the vlog. I know exactly <laughs> how you were feeling when the camera wouldn't stop recording. I laughed my butt off at that scene, and I even rewatched the ending there a few times. Too funny, man. Just too funny. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately, I yeah the camera wouldn't stop recording, and um, so yeah, <laughs> but um, so my favorite, I didn't actually realize I left that in because I did edit the vlog a little bit, and um, and I completely missed that. Uh -huh. Oops. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's not burning as bad as I thought, but it's going to, but we'll see. And it's definitely having trouble keeping parts of it lit. I've noticed that, too. That's why I'm having to take a few puffs on it. It's definitely not definitely not as easy to smoke as a Lancero. Um But my let's see, my top movie of twenty fifteen.
so out of the ones I've seen in 2015, my favorite was A Walk in the Woods. Um, just because I really like the landscape of it. Um, so that that was my favorite of 2015. Out of the ones I've seen, I didn't get to see as many movies as I was hoping to. Um, now for the my favorite movie of all time. That's a tough one. Um, so I have many that I like, uh, really like a lot. Um, um, my favorite movie of all time would probably be. Probably Saving Private Ryan. That would be my favorite movie of all time. Um, so, yeah. it'd be It's close, but probably Saving Private Ryan is probably my favorite movie of all time. Because I love Steven Spielberg and I love Tom Hanks. So, seeing them together in that that, that movie was really good. I, uh, really something special. I love, work, I love seeing them work together. Um... Now, on to the question of today's vlog. Um, what is the largest size ring gauge you've ever smoked? Um, and I will look forward to your answers in the comment section down below. So, until the next time, see ya.